MustangMedic.com. We show you everything from point A to point B, day one to day sold. So enjoy and thanks for watching. Mustang Medic is brought to you in high definition. Mustang Medic. 1969 Mustang Coop F Code Project. Okay, 69. Hands on. We are going to be doing the bearing installation and also the brake line installation, which means we're going to be bleeding the brakes. And if all goes well today and we get everything done, we will have the brake lines on, brakes bled, calipers back on. Uh, rims and tires back on, so she's sitting back down on all fours, and then we start dismantling for the air conditioning, and uh, you'll take a look at those new parts too. I'll uh, I'll show you the radiator and the parts that we have for. So here we go, 69 guys. And there's a possibility of a Fox body in the near future. Um, we're in negotiations for that right now, Mustang Medic. I think it's an 89 5.0 five-speed. We'll see if we can meet on an agreement, agree, agreeable price, and if so. You'll be seeing another Mustang on the trailer again. Okay, 69, here we go. All right, so here we are. New bearings, um, outer and inner. We got the grease, Ford Lincoln Mercury grease. We're gonna pack a lot of grease into here. And we've got the rotor, which has been beautifully sanded and painted, uh, painted by me, sanded by Carlos. So she looks almost brand new. She's a little thin in here, but she's sufficient for um, just changing out these pads and these brake, brake lines and everything. But next brake job, might want to get these replaced, but they're flat and they're good. So nice job, Carlos. All right, so what I'm going to do is I got bearing seals. The bearing seal is what holds in the back of the um, bearings in the back. We're going to tap that in very gingerly. And then we've got the bearings for front and back. So this is a set of bearings right here. Nice little bag. And we can place these in like so. Tell me, you move around like one of those seals, Carlos, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's the, one of those seals, go, arr, arr. no, sorry, it's, you got good, it's your knees, you got the muscles though, you're, 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 you're tough. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, staying focused. Actually, that is a 69, so it counts, right? It counts in the 69 video. All right, so what you want to do is you got to get this little bad boy out when you're changing your bearings. The bearing, the back bearing, rides inside there and spins quite nicely. It's actually quite an ingenious invention in my opinion. So what I have to do is I need a punch and I need a hammer and I need to get down inside of this rotor and tap out this piece. So I'm gonna do it very evenly. I can get on the edge right here and I'm just gonna keep tapping and I'm gonna work that thing out. Once that's worked out, I'll have greasy hands and I'll show it to you. And then we're going to put this one back in, the replacement piece that came with the bearing, and we're going to put it back in, and we're going to use the old piece to put in the new piece. And I'll show that to you in a moment. So now I'm going to be doing about probably, I don't know, 15 minutes of tapping to get this thing out. So I don't want to bore you on video. So next clip, we'll maybe be going, yay, I got it out. I know I said the next clip was going to be it, me having it in my fingers, but I wanted to show you the momentous moment of us actually popping it out of the rotor. All right, guys, do this thing right. You got to be patient. This has been about 15 minutes of tapping. And that is the sound of magic. So you, we caught it on video, Carlos. I can't believe it. Mm -hmm. There it is. The cuff's out. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to use the old cuff to put on the new one. Again, I'm, I'm calling it a cuff. It's probably a bearing seat. That's my guess. 
on the name. But Joe, this is the good thing about working with Mustang Medic is you get to see the work get done. <laughs> and you know it got done because you see the old parts come out, you see the new parts go in. I'm, I'm saying this, guys, to Joe because he already knows it, but I'm basically saying it to, to all the viewers out there that are watching these videos. Uh, Joe chose Mustang Medic because of our video series. And he's all over the country, and he can watch the work get done, and he sees it get done. He had a previous mechanic that was charging him for stuff, and was not doing the work and was just saying they were doing the work. So that's another reason why I'm proud of Mustang Medic and the work we do, because you guys see it and you see, you see it get done. So you know it gets done. Unfortunately, in this day and age, it seems like everybody needs to see what gets done. The trust factor. Back in the day, with gas, they used to have those big glass containers because everybody wanted to see the gas go in. I think I guess this was in the 30s and they wanted to see the gas go down in the car. Now, we blindly trust that the gallon of gas we're getting is actually a gallon of gas when we pull that trigger and we're putting the gas in the car. Well, we're reversing back to the days where we need to see it get done. And that's why Mustang Medic is doing what it does and spends so much time doing videos. I've talked too much. Back to the car. This is the old one, which actually looks like an original part. It's got USA on it, which is always kind of nice. Um, so that's the back end of it, and now I'm working on taking the front uh, bearing seat out. So repeat the same process, the opposite direction. About to come out. Coming out. Yeah! You caught that on video? Yeah. Nice. Drop. All right. And there's the outer bearing seat. So that one's out also, and we're about to put this one back in too, so new ones. We're going to use these to tap in the new seats, and we'll show that to you on video. You know what, guys? What I'm going to do, and again, this is a conversation with Joe. Joe said he wants me to contact him when there's a part that I discover that might need to get replaced. So I don't want to proceed with work and then find out that Joe might want to change out this rotor. This is the deal. This is, see this thickness here, Joe? That's good. This thickness here is not that great. So it's probably usable, but we probably can get a price for rotors right now that would be reasonable and it won't be any additional labor cost because I got them out. They're already out. So before I continue with putting these bearings back into this rotor, I'm going to put this video up and have you look at it and you tell me if you want me to get a price on rotors. I can get them very reasonably and uh, I'll get you a price out to you right away and then we'll make the call. I'm going to stop the work right now where we stand so I don't create, um, create work for myself and then we go backwards. If you want to hear about the parts that not, might need to get replaced before I put them back on, this would be no labor charges to you. It would just be a decision of buying the part and I get all the parts at wholesale costs. And I, and I share those savings uh, with my customers, you, Joe. So I'm going to contact you about possible new rotors on this, uh, on this before we put the bearings back in. MustangMedic.com. You got it. You got it. This post came in from a different video, a 429 rebuild. Mustang Medic, thank you for showing us these awesome, exciting steps in restoring engine blocks and engine parts. And I want to also thank the gentleman for letting you record him. Uh, yeah, I am also grateful. Thank you, Wheels, uh, for letting me record uh, this awesome work. Your, uh, your knowledge will live on, and uh, thank you for your comment. MustangMedic.com Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. MustangMedic.com Outtakes. We haven't done these in a while, guys, so I thought I'd put some in. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, staying focused. Focused, focused. Right. Are you moving the camera? Well, the it's crooked. Moving. The camera's crooked, see it? Camera's crooked, Carlos. What's that? No straight? It's not straight. Uh, crooked, <laughs> what's that? What's that? Not, stra not straight? You cracked me up. <laughs>
You know, just handhold it.